Welcome to an out of the box unboxing. Um, today we're going to be looking at Maximum Apocalypse Wasted Wilds. Very excited about this one. I think the Kickstarter ended June 21, so it's been a little while, but here it is in my hot little hands. So, very excited about this. I built the first Maximum Apocalypse mainly through print and play. So, that was my kind of introduction to the game, but I did want to print and play this one. So, it's a big box. Um, and it's got lots of goodness inside it, which we're going to dig into in a minute. Um, in terms of the size of the box, I don't have the first one, so I can't compare it, but I do have the legendary box. So the legendary box is quite a bit bigger, but then you expect that because that is legendary. Anyway, we'll get to that later. So let's see what we get in here. So this arrived in Australia, Brisbane, um, yesterday. So it is very fresh. I got it with a couple of expansions which I imagine I will do unboxing as of in due course. Similarly, um, we will look at um, playthroughs. Um, first of all, let's get it off board and see what we get. So, um, organising your box. So I'll read this before you do anything else. Okay, so that's handy, having a organisation chart. Um, which I will probably promptly lose. Then we've got Learn to Play Guide. Quick reference on the back. Love that. Thank you. Components. Survivors. Similar format if you've played Maximum Apocalypse. Um, exposure in the game. Okay, then it's some missions. How many missions do we get? Solo mode. Like a solar mode, seven mission, no, ten missions, mission six to ten. Um, three, I'll look at that in due course. Um, what else have we got? We've got mission log. Okay, so this will be setting up the missions. Spoiler alert, don't pause the video. So, how many have we got? Yeah, we've got ten video. 10 here, and then we've got another 10 at the back, 11 at the back. So I wonder how they are. Okay, there's a campaign, a couple of campaigns. Frozen Wilds campaign. Looks like that's the first 10. And then a Scorched Earth campaign. So that's pretty cool. 20 missions. Supplementary mission log. Even more. What have we got here? Uh, okay, this adapts the older missions from the previous Maximum Apocalypse. Oh, that's cool. So that'll make it compatible. So that's... I'm just going to have to start again, and I? And do them all. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Right, and I've got... Ooh, what have we got here? We've got a set of... A lot of tokens. I remember making these when I was doing the print and play. Um, there's a lot of tokens, so I'm quite glad I don't have to do that again. I'm probably going to go through and combine as much as I can in my legendary box and upgrade all my print and play to proper stuff. So that's your, your coloured thingies. You've got a dial with your day and night. Um, they all go on there, I imagine. Easily enough. And we've got standees for characters and a truckload of tokens. Great components. Nice solid card. I like those. And then what else we've got? We've got so these are our miniatures. Let's have a look at one of these a bit closer up. Good detail. Similar to Nemesis. Yeah, they're going to be fun to paint. I like that. Um, we've got coloured bases. And I'll put that away. We've got, okay, so these are trays for your cards. So once we get all the cards out, we will be putting them in the tray and when we play them. Um, I think, I don't know if that fits underneath. So you could do it like that. Um, 
and then you stack your decks up so you can actually play with your trays. That's good. And then we've got more trays for tokens. I love it when you get storage. You know, it just makes life so much easier. What have we got here? Oh, okay, so these will be... These are dials, health dials, I imagine. Left and right health dials that we will assemble. Okay, so then we've got... Okay, so these are the clips. So these are clips for building said health bars. We've got dice. We've got level D6, two, four, six little ones, and two big ones. We've got some ammo counters. Uh, there they are, the bits for the dials. Ah, monster tokens. Again, this is almost like a deluxe unwrapping. I'm so I can upgrade all my print and play components. Uh, ABC. Uh, these are components for the slightly gasoline. The little line. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice printed plasticky guillotine bit. Not guillotine, gasoline. Gasoline tokens. Um, oh, these look like um, blockade. Uh, extra people. And those will be for the standees. What else have we got? Oh, then we've just got truckloads of cards. And tiles. And little cards. And more tiles. And nothing underneath. How to do this? Well, there's an unboxing, so let's have a look at some of these. This is the, some of the, um, day, day and night. So that's a day and night card. Oh, okay, these are, these are the dividers, actually. These are going to be used with, what do I do with it? Prob probably, um, going to need that bit of card. Let's put that to a weight. Where do they go? Lost it, never to be seen again. What are we saying here? Okay, let's have a look. Um, anyway, it'll fit my. I'll be putting them on. So these, these are your dividers. So you've got your dividers for your new um, characters chef, driver, contractor, thief, beekeeper, zookeeper. Then you've got your critters, wilderness, ice sledge, Norse tribes, other tribes, more marauding tribe, diesel punk tribe, simian tribe, underground, plants, and then a couple of turn reference cards, which is always handy. Then we've got lots and lots. So these are standard magic size, if I remember rightly. When I did my first when I did print and play, because there were so many cards, so I got really keen, I did them all in Dragon Shield. It was very expensive, but they look really cool. So yeah, so um, let's have a look. So each character has their own deck of cards. These are standard thickness cards. They fit in the sleeves. Um, will they fit in the box? Probably. Mm, yeah, kind of. Oh, there's space under there for tokens as well, so that's handy. And we've got so beekeeper hat. So everyone gets a um, customized um, deck of cards, and you know it's a, it's a familiar apocalypse, maximum apocalypse, fantastic artwork, um, comic comic realism, really nice. Um, yeah. What I've got there, so they've all got unique, so that you get a unique set of cards for each character you play. So that's great. Uh, I think there's no point in going through those because they're just cards. There's more cards for the other characters. What else have we got? We've got monsters. So each of the apocalypse that you have to fight through will have a set of critters um, that you'll have to fight against. Um, oh, these are. 
think these came in one of the later expansions um, and they're like movement things happening during the different so lightning storm so these are environmental things that can happen it's almost like a, an event deck well, I have to reread the walls it has been a while um, and then you've got the items that you can find so there's food fuel and um, ammo bar when you go searching that's the that was the different colors so I've lost it now but it was the red the blue and the yellow um, oh, okay and then this will be the dials so this is this is for each of the characters each character has their own health dial um, which we will assemble at some point little bits and so then you've got your health um, your characters and then you've got some little cards these ones I bought my measuring thingy to have a look at this you can see how much stuff you get uh, so these are four Four, 40, like 41 millimeters by 64. Looking for sleeves. Um, and this again looks like um, you used to have a, um, you rolled dice for, for encounters, and I think then there was a um, pull tokens out of a bag. This looks like it's a, yeah, an alternative. Again, it's been a while since I've played the other missions, so I'm really looking forward to getting this back. This is a you know, the nice linen, linen -y feel. So these are all our critters. Oh, okay, so this is, this is our monster spawning numbers. Uh, surrounded, draw three, hostility, fortified. And then we've got the um, tiles. It's a tile-based game. So we put out a set of tiles, each mission has a unique set of tiles. Well, no, each mission has a, a layout of tiles, um, which you then play through. So you get lots of variability. These are really nice tokens. They're really solid. Um, yeah, they're gonna be great. So when you've got your tiles, you've got things like the creature number. So when you draw a number, if it's a five, that's where they'll spawn. And then there's certain you know, there's attributes that you can use on the tiles or events or if they've got searching, you can search for green stuff there, you can search for red stuff there. And there's a lot of tiles. Big stack of tiles. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Um, I imagine everyone's going to turn off at this point. But I'm going to try and get it back in the box because that's always a bit of a challenge. Um, I probably should have found that piece of card that I threw away. I have no idea where that is. So I think this is going to be I may can go in there first. I'll stack in these bits that I haven't opened. And then I'll stack the cards. It's almost a game in itself as we'll be organizing all the components. It's really nice that there's a guide there. Um, ultimately you, when I play, I'll be playing through solo, so I will be playing through character at a time. So I'll probably just pull the rest of them out of the way, and um, then you just grab a mission, set it up, and then play through it. Yeah. So I probably, like I say, I oh, yeah, there it is. knew I had it somewhere. I'll probably keep this for the time being. Um, I think it's going to be a matter of, um, yeah, there we go. So these are the dividers now. So if you see the dividers, they're just a little bit higher. So once I get, get them sorted, they'll be very easy to find. Um, I'm going to see up in there. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to mix and match between this box and my legendary edition. So then I've got a quick way to just grab out what I want to do when I want to play a particular scenario. Lots of components. I'm very excited to get this on the table. Um, 
thanks for watching. Hope you've got all the way to the end. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like. And I will be doing some playthroughs um, at some point in the not too distant future. This is Maximum Apocalypse Wasted Wilds. Very cool. Thanks for watching.